Everywhere you look at the YMCA of Northern Colorado, helpers and heaters. You know, I've never had to use the service of the Red Cross before, but I got nothing but great things to say about him. Forrest Smith says he's sure his Louisville home of 30 years is gone. Yeah, I was blowing directly towards my house. He sat on a hot ember in his car on the way out. It was burning my butt. So then I got the hell out of there. He's one of about 125 people sheltering here. There are a lot of different emotions. A lot of people experience a lot of different things. And the you Red know, Cross we, says the community is showing up. And we are so very grateful. We've had uh, dozens and dozens of people showing up, offering to volunteer, offering to help any way they can. It's really brought the community together, I think, is the biggest thing. And, and people helping people is the story of today. Volunteer Kieran Kane and others handing out nearly 1,000 space heaters donated by Excel Energy. And the response is phenomenal. I'm shocked to see how fast they've they've been able to respond. Jason Klotchy says his family was lucky. We grab one more. They're, they are for our neighbors, I promise. OK, we trust Home you. still standing. The power is on, but no heat. And just grabbed a bunch for everybody. Uh, just knowing that our entire neighborhood is out of heat right now. And when he can, he says he wants to help, too. We'll take them. Once they kind of open roads up and clear up to see how we can all rally together and help help uh, pull through this thing together. And in fact, you know, we saw so many people showing up wanting to volunteer, wanting to make donations that many were actually turned away by the Red Cross. They already have what they need there. They say that if you do want to help out like so many others do, the best thing to do is to call Boulder County with the uh, Office of Emergency Management. They can tell you how best to direct your donation or your volunteer efforts if you want to do that. You can also donate directly to the Red Cross. Cash is always a good option. It's something that uh, is always needed by those who are offering resources to those who need the help. Back to you in the studio, Alex. Luke, it's great to see all that snow behind you. A beautiful sight we've been waiting for. But of course, unlike summer wildfires, the cold, the single digit temperatures provides a whole nother level of issues for thousands who can't go home tonight. So thank you for that information. It's going to help a lot of folks.